Welcome to our video lesson on finding the GCF of two numbers. GCF stands for greatest common factor. And we're going to do it in this video just using method one, which is listing factors. Alright, your first thing, I need you to write these steps down on your guided note. Pause the video now and write them down so that you have them for later when you need to refer to them. Now that you have your steps written down, we're going to go through each one of them to find the GCF of 48 and 64. And I need you to write whatever I write down on your guided note as well. Okay, let's get started. It says step one is to list the factors. Let's start by writing 48 over here. We are going to find the factors of 48 using the divisibility rules we talked about in class. You could have your divisibility rule chart right beside you to help you think about it. I like to go in order. I know that all numbers are divisible by 1. Great, so I will always write down 1 here. Then think to yourself, 1 times what gives 48? 1 times 48 gives 48. So we write down 48 as well, because 1 and 48 are factors, or two numbers that multiply together to give us 48. Let's move to the next number, 2. We know a number is divisible by 2 if it ends in an even number, and 8 does end in an even number. Yay! So, we know it's divisible by 2. The trick is to know by what. 2 times what gives 48? If you wanted to check it, you could do it on the side, no problem whatsoever. But I know that 2 times 2 gives 4, and 2 times 4 gives 8, so I know that 2 times 24, right over here, gives 48. Next one is 3. To know if something is divisible by 3, you add up each of its digits. 4 plus 8 is 12. If that number, so in our case 12, is divisible by 3, then 48 is divisible by 3. And 12 is divisible by 3, so 48 must be divisible by 3. So I'll put a 3 down here. Let me erase this. Okay, what times 3 gives 48? This one's a little bit harder, so I'm going to do this one over here. 3 goes into 4 once. 1 times 3 is 3. 4 minus 3 is 1. Bring down the 8. How many times does 3 go into 18? 6 times. 6 times 3 is 18. Oh, it's supposed to be an 8. And we subtract them and get a 0 remainder. Awesome. So we know that 3 times 16 is 48. Next is 4. The divisibility rule for 4 is that if the last two digits are divisible by 4, then it is divisible by 4. The last two digits of 48 are 48, and 48 is divisible by 4, so it is. Yay! 4 can stay there. This is another one that you could do on the side over here if you wanted, but this one might be easier to do in our heads because we know that 4 goes into 4 once, and 4 goes into 8 twice. So, 40, or 4 times 12 gives 48. Next one is 5. Is 48 divisible by 5? The rule is, is the last digit here a 0 or a 5? No, it's not. So it's not divisible by 5. Let's check out 6. The rule for 6 is if it's divisible by 2, and divisible by 3, then it is divisible by 6. Okay, it is divisible by 2 and 3. 2, 2, and 3. So we know it's divisible by 6. So let's write our 6 down here. What's 48 divided by 6? Or what times 6 gives 48? Well, that number is 8. We're not quite done yet. We still have seven, uh, 9, sorry. We can skip 8 because we know it's divisible by 8. And then we look at number 9. Is 48 divisible by 9? The divisibility rule for 9 is if you sum up the digits, so add up the digits, and if it's divisible by 9. 8 plus 4 is 12. And 12 is not divisible by 9, so we know that 48 is not divisible by 9. And now, oh, then 10. <laughs> is 48 divisible by 10? No, because it doesn't end in a 0. Now we're done. I'm going to tidy this up just a little bit so that it's a little bit clearer for later on. 
Our next step is to figure out what the divisibility rules for 64 are. If you want to, feel free to pause and do it on your own and then check your answer afterwards or you can do it along with me. You can choose. 64. Let's start with 1. Every number is divisible by 1. Yes, and we know that 1 times 64 gets 64. Alright, next step. Is 64 divisible by 2? Is this last number a two, a, an even number? 4 is even, so we know it is divisible by 2. Our next step is what times 2 gives 64? So let's divide 64 by 2. We get 3 times 2 is 6, 0, and then 2 times 2 will give 4. 2 times 2 is 4, subtraction gets 0, and we're done. So it's 2 times 32. Excellent. Number 3. If we add together 4 plus 6, we get 10. Is 10 divisible by 3? No, so it's not divisible by 3. Okay, let's do 4. Are the last two digits divisible by 4? Is 64 divisible by 4? Yes, it is, but that might be harder to do in our heads, so let's do that one over here. 64 divided by 4. 4 goes into 6 once. 1 times 4 is 4. Subtraction. 6 minus 4 gives 2. Bring down the 4. 4 goes into 24 6 times. 6 times 4 is 24. Subtract them and get a 0. So 4 times 16 gives 64. So we can add both those numbers to our list here. And then move on to the next one. Is it divisible by 5? Is this 4 here a 0 or a 5? No, so it's not divisible by 5. Great. Is it divisible by 6? Is 64 divisible by 2 and 3? It's divisible by 2, but not by 3, so it's not divisible by 6. No. Is it divisible by 8? Are the last three digits divisible by 8? 64 is divisible by 8 because we know that 8 times 8 is 64. So we'll add 8 here to our list. Great. 9. If we add 4 plus 6, we get 10. Is 10 divisible by 9? No. So we know it's not divisible by 9. Alright, 10. Is 64 divisible by 10? Is the last digit a 0? No. So it's not divisible by 10. So now we have all our factors of 64. You can check off that first step. That took a long time. The next step is to circle the shared factors. So circle the factors they have in common. Let's start at the beginning. Both 48 and 64 are divisible by 1, so we can circle 1s. They also both have 2s, so we can circle the 2s. Then they both have 4s, so we can circle those 4s. And they both have 8s, so we can circle the 8s. Keep going. They both have 16. And that's it. So we've done step two, we've circled the factors. And it says the biggest one is the GCF. So whatever our biggest factors that they've circled, that they have in common, is the GCF. In this situation, it is 16. And now we are done. You can rewind and watch the video again, or get started on the practice problems on the board. If you're not sure about something, please raise your hand and ask, um, ask me. I'm here to help. Alright, I'll see you later.